Hello everyone, my name is Victor Fogosi and I will present my abstract about the use of Western blot WB to detect HLV1 and R2 infections. Well, many studies showed an unexpected activity to HLV diagnostic proteins in serological tests. Probably caused by the presence of mutations in viral strands that circulation in specific regions, the low stimulation of antibodies requiring due the low number of the viral cops, and the decrease seed in the concentration of specific antibodies caused by the long period of viral latence present to this virus. Despite these are problems related in both types, studies show that a higher frequency of this interference in type 2 seropositive individuals. Therefore, the aim of this study was to differentiate and quantify the intensity of protein reactivity between HLV1 and R2 in WB assay. For this analysis, 205 tests were then selected. 164 were positive for HGLV1, 3 for type 2, and 7 co-infected for both types. Later, the reactivity of the proteins converted according to the same quantitative values of reactivity described by Intensity Finder to create a scatterdot plot using the mean and standard deviation. The idle average reactive of the bands had a value close or equal to 3, while the band with lower activity had a value close to 0. In result, samples co-infected with HLV1 and 2 showed a similar band pattern when compared to type 1. Both showed 54% um, of immune reactivity for all proteins and immune reactivity in almost all tests for P19, GP21, and GD21. However, despite the key role in immune response, GP46 or surface glycoprotein showed a lower activity than P28, a related accessory protein in specific for type 2. However, among the reactives for sample for type 2, uh, no test showed the reactive for all bands with a considerable decrease in the main intensity, index less than 1, including low reactivity for P28. Exceptions for P24 and GD21, which showed high reactivity values. Thanks for your time and I wait for your questions.